JAWS can work with several internet browsers, and one of the things that you'll discover is that it kind of shows different features, sometimes depending on, on the browser that you're using. If I wanted to go to Google Chrome, for example, I can hit the Windows key, start button to move to items, start typing key, Google, menu, search box F, G, Google Chrome, G. and it's the very first thing that pops up, and I can hit enter at this point and go into Google Chrome and go to that web page. But I kind of like using JAWS with Internet Explorer, so I'm escape. just going to escape out of that. Menus, folder, view, list, view. JAWS hit the Windows key, to to items, the start key. typing and in Internet Explorer. I, Internet Explorer. I. And there it is. Enter. I hit Enter. It's Maryland going to State bring Library up for the, flight the, the home page. Maryland State Library for the flight. And I'm going, I hit Control to shut JAWS up right there. And I'm going to go to a different web page. I'm going to go to the National Library Service for the Blind web page. I do this by doing Alt D to get to the address bar. Alt D, address and search using big edit, HTTPS. And then I'm going to type in lock.gov slash NLS. A lot of times when web page load, it'll say how many frames, headings, and links that it has. It's easier to navigate web pages usually by looking for the headings because this is where the major content is usually laid out. So if I hit the H key, it'll, it will show me what my headings are. I can also find headings by doing insert function six, but I'm going to just hit the H key. NLS at the Library of Congress heading level one. To look at my major headings. Left parent video right parent heading level three. Enrollment and equipment heading level three link. Audio reading materials heading level three link. You also hear that these are also links as well, which means I can hit enter on it and go to that particular part of the website and it's going to display that relevant information. Resources heading level three link. About heading level three link. So if I want to go back up, if I say, well, you know, let me check out that resource list, I can do shift H resources heading level three link. To get back up to the page, to that heading. Again, sh demonstrating the uh, insert F6. Heading list dialog. Heading Here list are the headings. Reading, all of them. All of them. At all. At all. At all. Dave, enrollment. Rayland. Resource. About. Cool. And I can also hit enter on those to show me headings. If there are any buttons Escape on this particular page. Wrapping the top. Change page contrast toggle button. I can hit the letter B. It's going to show me my buttons. Submit search button. Play button. Forward 10 seconds button. Rewind 10 seconds button, replay button. A lot of times if I'm going to a web page that doesn't have very many headings, I know at that point I need to either arrow down and look at the content. Or if I'm feeling particularly lazy, I can do the insert down arrow and it's going to read me. Link watch on YouTube, external list and heading From that three, point link, onward, all the link links and, and all and the text that's set up the on this particular for web page. Downloads. Heading level three, link rail and audio reading materials, link locate a book, magazine, or musical score. And then I can hit the control, NLS, control and JAWS magically shuts up. For more information or further training, please contact the Maryland State Library for the Blind and Physically Handicapped, located at 415 Park Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21201. Give us a call at 410-230-2443. Email us at reference.desk at maryland.gov or visit our website, lbph.maryland.gov.